How's it going everybody? Yeah, yeah, I'm wearing the same thing as the last vlog because it is the same day, but I did get my inspection today and I am on to go to the eye doctor. Uh, I've got new contacts, ran out of contacts, maybe look like some glasses. I don't know, maybe I'll find some new glasses. These are getting kind of old, kind of yellow, but we'll see. I'm at the eye doctor, so eyeglasses is probably not the cheapest place to buy here, but I gotta use my insurance for the contact, so I might as well use that up while I can before the end of the year. But today we're doing that, and we're going to a winery in Williamsburg. Da 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 Hampton Roads Eye Associates. Look at all the options. I never know which one to pick. I'm so picky. Note to self next time, bring prescription. At least I'm at the eye doctor and they can look it up. Well, that was quick and painless. I'm getting two boxes for each eye, like a two month supply. Man, that added up quick. It was like 150 something. Such a beautiful day out today. Blue skies, you know. Oh yeah. Okay guys, it's time to go to the Williamsburg Winery. I have two tickets to the wine and tasting tour thing. I haven't really tasted many wines. I hope I find one that I really like. Maybe I pick up a bottle or two. Hmm. Race car life, always doing something. Uh, tuna studio, load, load. Okay, I'm not kidding, load. Oh, there it goes. Oh yeah. So far the Miata's running pretty well. The car drives night and day compared to the stock ECU. Oh yeah. Well, we're here guys, Williamsburg Winery. Remember how I said a couple of vlogs ago, if you walk away from a car and you look back, you bought the right car? Yep, there she is, walking away. But anyway, let's go in. Oh snap, I forgot the two tickets. I have to walk back to the car, it's not a bad thing. I wonder where Nate is. I'm supposed to be meeting Nate here. He's uh, my coworker from work. Oh yeah. Got the tickets. Huh, where's the retail shop? Look at this, this is kind of cool. They got the little barrels. I guess it makes sense, wine and barrels. Oh yeah, about to taste some wines.
Well, I guess I should go in. See what they got. Hey, there's so many wines here. Look at all the selection. Wow. I think this toy's gonna be fun. Can't wait. Look who showed up. Uh oh, focus. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, what's this thing? Time to upgrade. Hey. I wonder if that's part of the tour. Capture that carbon dioxide or just for it flow no, out? No, but you know, I heard on the TR. filter out. Right. But some of it's large enough that if you just fill. Yeah. So, Dionier is actually being fermented in stainless steel. Did you, did you ever get told what these. Are? So, I guess the AC refers to acacia. I'm not sure if LOL is referring to a year or whatever, but these are made in France and acacia is not used to you can see something here. American works here and Stacy and assembly of the wine is set at a rate of twenty four hundred in the, the giant vats yes. before it gets into the barrel. Yes. Every once it once it uh, you know you make the wine for the second and it takes a few weeks to make Leave your glass sitting there, leave it alone. Don't pick it up yet. This is called the Act 12 Chardonnay. It was made the same way as the Dionier is being made now. Mm. Mm. So, it's going to be yeah. Old Bay seasoning? Yeah. yeah. What? Shrimp, crab, stuff like that? This wine would go well with that. Yeah, this one. Yeah, this one. This is the highest alcohol level of any wine we've made in many years. It's about 13.7%. And it has 2% residual sugar. Oh, wow. When you talk about residual, what they're referring to is the sugar that was left over that was not fermented. Now, there are five grapes currently allowed by law. Now, most of the Bordeaux wines, if you were grapes, also, it's typical of the Bordeaux wines in that it's a blend. It's not a law, but it's a strong uh, tradition. Okay. So this is Petit Bordeaux Brewmaster. Right. Okay. To make a great wall uh, uh, garden near the Palace of Versailles. That's pretty it was still good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So of the uh, grapes on signs in front of the vineyards. Right, right. That was nice. Oh, that, yeah. Right. Normally you would do that on a freshly opened bottle. We had a guy that worked here several years ago that on the reserve tastings, he didn't even pour that much wine. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh my gosh. He so cool. got to um, talk to Carol. Okay. Now, the 40% of the Vidal Blanc that's in here came from the vineyard that we visited. It's a grape that's been infected with fungus. 
called the noble rut. Mm. The middle part is called the eye or the bowl of the okay. rut. That's the color. Out here there's a um, uh, little bit of a kind of a translucent <coughs> uh, watery uh, right. edge. And in between those two is a region called the uh, rim or meniscus. Now, what I have found with my phone by accident at home is if you do that and that, it's so much easier to see. Okay. Oh, can you, you see get the a white background? Can you, sure. Can you see the watery? Uh, yeah. Rim? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, and there's a little area that's kind of pinkish in between. Right. Now an expert can look at that, knowing what the wine is, and he can probably age it. He could say, oh, I think that's probably 1937. Same. That's <laughs> Same. Well guys, that was a really fun wine testing and tour. If you guys get a chance, you should check out the Williamsburg Winery. I ain't gonna lie, four, four wines in, I was uh, kind of toasty. Uh, when we got to the ninth one, I can't really walk that straight. But it was a really fun time. Yeah, it was. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Nate and I have to find some food. <laughs> I definitely came into this. No food in the stomach. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, I usually can't hold a camera straight and not wobbly. Well, I'm going up the stairs now. I'm doing pretty well. I'm doing pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Oh yeah. So you buying any wine? Why? Oh okay. Yep. So the guy that gave us the wet, the wine tasting said there was really good crab cakes in the tavern next door. I really gotta try it out. Mm-hmm. Crab cakes. Fat kid love crab cakes. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. Oh yeah. Yeah, the light's kind of bright. Still a nice day. What time is it? It's uh, four o'clock. Oh yeah. Not drunk, avoiding potholes. Well, I got I, I gotta get food first before I. <laughs> I have to get food first. Or I'm gonna be drunk, avoiding potholes. Here's food. Oh yeah, let's go in. Ooh. This is really nice. Wow. This is a hotel? Mm -hmm. This is really nice. I found my old friend. Okay. So lower level. Lower level, she said? Yeah. Where's the food? Oh wow, this is really a really nice hotel. Look at this, guys. I wonder how much one of these rooms go for. I don't know, I wanted to ask. I think I'm going the wrong way. Probably. We would like to see. That was a bust. The restaurant doesn't open until 5.30. Well, I guess they're on their little break right now from 4 to 5.30, so. Got an hour and a half to sober up, but. By then, we'll probably end up going to another restaurant, getting some food. The restaurant did look good. The hotel looked amazing, too. Maybe one day I'll stay in here for shit and giggles. Time to go wandering. Right. Oh, yeah. Gotta sober up a little. How chink do I look right now? Oh, yeah, uh huh. Damn sun. <laughs> oh, man. Uh oh. This is a really beautiful place. You gotta come here if you haven't. Sadly, in my 10 years being in this area, this is my first time, but first time for, for not, first time for better late than never. Yeah, I think I'll pass the test. Oh boy. <laughs> it is going now. Hey look, the height that I don't get. Far as the eye can see. Oh yeah. 
had like a dozen wines or something like that. He didn't offer hmm. us. Fat kid yeah. running. Maybe it'll burn up the wine Tough. faster. Run, fat kid, run. Wait. Run, here. bin one. <laughs> okay, I'm. I lost it. Yeah. Look at this place. It's really beautiful. Maybe one day I'll get a wedding out here. One day. I have to call them. We did like six, seven, eight laps around the Williamsburg Winery. Walk, run, jog, you know. Good now. Super sober. But we're about to go find some food. We need some food. I'm super hungry. Here we are. Food. Dinner time. <laughs> Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, oh man, this is a burger. <laughs> yeah, wow, look at that. Oh. We're just out of the diner. It was really good. This is uh marks the end of this vlog. Thank you for watching and have a good night. Have a good day. Peace out. <laughs>